The UFD tech drama just got a whole lot worse. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Okay, so if you don't know, UFD Tech is, well, as the name would suggest, another tech channel that is pretty popular, but there's been a lot of drama around this channel for some time, and I finally decided to cover it because I think I have a unique angle and have experienced similar things in my past. Now, all all this drama started back in 2020 when UFD Tech actually posted a video where I believe he tried putting Android on a Nintendo Switch and this caused a huge problem and of course did lead to a community guideline strike. Now I do kind of understand why that could happen as yeah Nintendo is very fond of lawyering up when it comes to messing with their products but hey you know what you live and you learn you move on except for he couldn't move on because he tried to to appeal it and the appeal got stuck and to this day is still stuck on his channel. I appealed it successfully two times and on the third time the appeal didn't get rejected. It just sits in our account as appeal submitted. There's nothing I can do about it. It just sits there. Now this means that essentially and do keep in mind that today it's more forgiving than it used to be in the past. In the past it was like three strikes and you're out whereas today you get a warning and then three strikes but after that first warning which he's effectively locked into now as he has not been able to actually fix this appeal after years and years of trying, anytime he gets any sort of community guideline strike after that, he basically can't post for an entire week and the punishments only get worse and worse after that if you do have, well, any other community guideline strikes. Now, of course, ideally, you just don't get community guideline strikes, but yeah, easier said than done considering that YouTube, well, a lot of it, I think, might even be run like by AI or something at this point in time, so they're kind of grabbing things willy-nilly, it seems like at least in my opinion of course I don't know how they run YouTube this is all just me presuming how it might be done but it definitely does feel like there's just some crazy AI going out there and being like hey you uh-uh that's not okay so yeah it can be difficult at times, depending on what you cover, to not get a community guideline strike. And as you can imagine, surprise, surprise, it happened again. Except for this time, the reason why he got a community guideline strike is absolutely ridiculous and highlights a huge problem that YouTube has with essentially, in my opinion, false flagging videos for not breaking the community guidelines, but you're still getting a strike for it. So he covered a story where he talked about, I believe it was someone manipulated chat GPT and somehow giving them Windows 95, uh, like Windows codes. And for whatever reason, YouTube thought that he was supporting it or something like that. And so they gave him a community guideline strike. At no point did we describe how to do it. And at no point did we glorify the fact that you should get this done. It was not promoting piracy. So here he is, he can't upload for an entire week. And he has tried reaching out to people, even people over at Linus who did give him a contact and he tried to get it resolved with them. But after years, or at least I think it was like six months to a year, they just ended up ghosting him. And at this point, he basically has no solution for him just randomly getting banned from uploading videos for a week anytime he gets a community guideline strike as like I talked about earlier, he's stuck with the warning strike and can't get it off his account. So I wanted to talk to you guys about this because A, this story is absolutely ridiculous. Like I see stuff like this on YouTube from time to time and every time it is absolutely shocking. But B, I've had a similar thing actually happen to me. I actually got demonetized for like two or three months, literally on accident. I did absolutely nothing wrong. My channel said it was monetized, but I actually couldn't monetize anything and it took them three months to fix it. Now that's a little bit more severe because it's not like a warning, you're just demonetized and there's nothing you can do about it. And thank God that actually finally got resolved because that was a huge problem. But I totally understand how frustrating that can be because it was literally just like what's happening to him, an actual bug in YouTube that wouldn't allow me to monetize. It said I was, and then it said I wasn't. It was like, I was, what's going on here? So yeah, this has been an ongoing bit of drama with UFD Tech that just simply can't get resolved, it seems like. So I did want to bring this video to you guys to ask 
ask you for help actually because I think we do need to make more people aware of this problem and finally get him the help that he needs to get this dang strike off of his account that just shouldn't be there. So if you know anyone or can tweet at somebody who can maybe help UFD Tech with this problem, that would be greatly appreciated as I know I would want someone else to help speak out for me. So I'm gonna do the same for UFD Tech and hopefully we can finally get this drama resolved. And also YouTube, for Christ's sake, there needs to be a more direct line with big creators to help them get the help that they need. I mean, yeah, UFD Tech isn't a massive creator, but come on, I, I feel like anybody who has even a certain number, maybe like 10 or 20,000 subscribers should have some sort of way to get direct contact to somebody to solve issues like this, as this could, in the case of somebody who has tens of thousands of subscribers, actually is very likely to be their main source of income and can be a serious blow to their finances to be losing their ability to monetize or upload videos. So again, I have to ask you guys, please share this video so we can try and help UFD Tech get his channel back up and running. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.